I don't know if it's still here. Probably not. Oh, there's some terror birds. Uh, that's a bad thing. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't look like the the, the duty. Oh god, terror birds. Oh god. Oh god. World. What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with the next episode of Official. And here we are in Ragnarok. Now we have a really funny story for all of you. So we jumped on today. We were like, okay, you know what? Let's get back into the Official. Let's get back onto the grind. Let's get into it. We were jumping on and guess what? We couldn't find our character. No matter what server we jumped onto, our character was non-existent. It, we, we just couldn't find it anywhere. We had a horrible timing, so pretty much from the last episode, you guys saw that we tamed up the Iguanodon and the Raptor. Got all those guys uploaded. We managed to make a 2x2 two two metal base, like everything we needed for a metal base as well. Spawned all that in. We got all the uh, trike and the... The trike and the... No, sorry, the, the Iguanodon and the Raptor died on the island server, so we were like freaking wonderful. So we then decided to transport our character over to a Ragnarok server, the same Ragnarok server that we are currently playing on. And uh, we uh, tamed up a new trike, it was only a level 20 trike, uploaded that to a new beacon, spawned in at a new spot. We actually tamed up a Pteranodon as well using Mudden in the Highlands. So we did all that, spawned into a new spot, killed ourselves, downloaded all our metal stuff and whatnot, and uh, yeah, well, you can guess what happened there. We pretty much met a nice friendly T-Rex. That T-Rex decided to take a huge chunk out of the trike and me and the Pteranodon. Killed all of us, we lost all our stuff, couldn't get any of it back. We did manage to get away just in time. Our trike, unfortunately, perished, so did our Pteranodon. But we managed to get back into our trike's inventory, take the stuff, and then make our way onto a trip. So, long story short, we ended up finding a little spot where we could just dump a one by one. Decided to pop it down, and because we were so far away from water, our water was like non-existence. We were dying, we were, we were bone wrecked. We were dying and everything, it was horrible. And we placed the metal foundation down, the walls, the door, the ceiling, everything down. And guess what happened? We forgot to take the bed out of the drop, so we had no way to spawn back in at that location. So you can guess what happened. We lost all our stuff, and at that stage, we were just done. We were so ready to just, like, call it quits. And, yeah, so we started again. Here we are once again. We, we've leveled up this character on the island. You can see we're level 59. We did it in pretty good timing, actually. It took us about 15 minutes to get to level 59. Now, the reason you're probably wondering why did it take so little time? Well, because the servers are having two times event at the moment. So, we actually managed to get to level 60 pretty fast, which we're cheering about. So, we've transferred over here. Hopefully, this character stays with us. I don't know what happened to our other character, but this character is already... Uh, Already much higher level than the last one was. So yeah, now we've got to build up a base on Ragnarok. Now we've got a couple of friends joining us today as well. They're uh, in the process of making their way over here. We have tamed up two Equuses as well. We headed over to the farm on Ragnarok and uh, tamed up these two horses. So one of them's for us, one of them's for our other tribe mate coming along. So for now, it looks like it doesn't. it isn't going to be a solo series. So we're going to have some friends along with us, which is great. So yeah, we'll bring you guys back when we've got some more stuff going on. Alrighty guys, and uh, there's someone located within this bush. New player. We're going to say hello to him. I think we just knocked him out. There he is there. You can see he's unconscious. What has he got on him? Oh, hello. He's got some narcs. We're going to take his narcs off him, and I think that'll... Actually, you know what? We're not going to take his narcs off him. He can have his narcs. He doesn't have anything really valuable on him. Yeah, he's alright. We're going to leave him here. We're going to pump up his... Uh, we're going to wake him up. Just wanted to do a quick little cheeky... Uh, PvP on this guy. He's uh he's unconscious. He's a level. Oh wait, he's 71. Okay, he's uh he's pretty well off then. We're gonna we're gonna wake him up. We don't wanna we don't wanna make enemies just yet. There we go. That should wake him up. There we go. Alrighty, let's get on our merry way now. So what we're currently doing is we're currently looking for another uh another equus for our other friend. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get that guy. Uh, we're gonna get our other friend an equus and uh. Yeah, that's what we're looking out for at the moment. Oh, that is the alpha base. Alrighty, here we go. We've found our next Equus. We're going to tame this bad boy up, or bad girl. Uh, we need to get the carrots out of our Equus at the moment. But we've got 64 carrots. It's two times cert, uh, taming. We should be right. Should be able to tame up this Equus without too much trouble. There is another one behind it. Maybe we'll tame both of them up. See what level they are. We're at level 45 here. We're going to ride this one. We're going to tame this one up already. 
Uh, I don't know what level that one is. We're not going to find out, but we're just going to wait and tame this one up. Oh, there's more over there as well. All right, well, we might tame up a whole heap of equuses. Alrighty guys, and you can see we're back, and we're still riding around on the E-Quest. Now, we've managed to tame, this will be the second E-Quest that we've tamed, and it's a 135, and you can see its effectiveness is only at 80%. We accidentally spazzed out and pressed triangle and got kicked off it, so we lost 20% taming effectiveness, but still, this guy's going to tame out to be like 180-something, I think, if my math is correct. Yeah, I think so. So now we've got four E-Quests all together, and there is the 135. Boom, bada, boom. Let's take a quick look at its stats. That actually went through quite a lot of uh, carrots. We've got to find the other two horses. Don't know where they went off to, but this one is significantly better than our other horses, and I am really glad that we got this guy. 1,600 health, 600 weight, 259 melee damage, which is great because we can essentially use these guys to knock out anything we want, pr pretty much, like Pteranodons and whatnot. Just bowl the Pteranodons, knock them out, and we're set. Okay, so now we've got to find the other two Equuses and bring them back to the rest of the group. Alrighty guys, and I we are back, boy. and this is all that remains of the Equuses that we tamed up. I'll be there we got fan. attacked by one of the Alphas on the tribe, on the server, with a giant lightning wyvern, and luckily this one got stuck in a rock while it was following us, so uh, we managed to save it, and this is our sole berry gatherer. But luckily we did come across a level 150 Pteranodon, which is right here. It is out like a light. We used a bowler and the Equus pretty much to knock it out, so... That's good. We've got this guy, and he's pretty uh, hes pretty hidden up as well. So that's pretty good as well. So we've just got to get some mudden for this guy and what? tame him up, and then we'll be set for flies. So all in all, doing pretty good. Yeah. We still don't have a base set up. We are currently lurking okay, in someone's old destroyed base, but we are hiding at the moment because there is a poison wyvern flying okay. over, and you can see from the chat that uh, this guy, there's a bunch of... Uh, people fighting over there so on the coast you could probably nope the poison wyvern's out of sight now there was a poison wyvern flying over there so we're just staying low for the moment just to avoid getting killed because we we have a lot of hide on us we managed to kill one equus not one equus sorry one of the uh one of the sheep and we got 220 okay. hide off it which is absolutely crazy i didn't realize how much hide they give you so uh we desperately needed hide to make the tools that we needed because we had no hide and everything so uh yeah so we've got that going for ourselves so we'll bring you guys back when the pteranodon's tamed up and we've got some more stuff for ourselves Alrighty, guys and we're back and as you can see we've got a bit of stuff kitted out we've got some stone foundations and whatnot uh we haven't really been grinding all that much we haven't specifically but our tribe mates have that 150 pteranodon got away unfortunately so uh yeah so we we just found someone in that base that we were squatting in they were searching through our smith well, not our smithy but the smithy with all our stuff in it so we decided to up and move because we don't really want to lose all our stuff to some random just passing by so we've up in the horse and they gave us swamp fever as well which is absolutely wonderful it's just so great we we love swamp fever I forgot how cancerous official servers are it's great so what we're doing now is we're going to try and look around for a little bit of a hidey spot so we can set up a base and get some metal going and whatnot because well we need a lot of metal so i'm thinking if we head over to the beaver dams in the area that might be a kind of decent place to set up however the only problem with that is that Obviously, the Alpha Tribes are going to head over there as well because they've got beaver dams there. Now, we haven't actually scouted out the Redwoods on this server, but I know a lot of people hate the Redwoods because it's just it's just a horrible place to live. I personally like it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to scout around for a bit, see if we can find a decent spot to set a few things up and get some metal cooking. Alrighty, guys, and we're going to end the episode here today. Sorry, it's on the short side of things. We're just currently in the process of getting a whole heap of metal up for the base. We haven't had any luck. We were currently out trying to get an RG, but we've had no luck getting an RG. So we were just uh, running around in the oh, snow looking for something, but we can't find anything. So that'll pretty much conclude today's video, guys. We didn't have any luck taming up the Pteranodons either because they just kept waking up. We didn't head over there in time with the narcotics. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, don't forget to leave a like down below, but stay tuned for more because we will be getting into some raiding very soon on the uh, series so stay tuned for that guys but other than that thank you very much for watching and i hope to catch you in the next one Alrighty, guys and we're here we're uh, trying to get our body back with these pesky freaking titan maninas the most overpowered thing in the game level 150 50 is just absolutely shred you you can see there they're still trying to get us there's our surrounded on there level 90 it should still be pretty 
decent. We're going to try and run away from it because we don't want to get hit by the bugs. So at the moment we are, we think it's pretty much ready to be tamed up. We've let it starve out for quite a bit of time now. So there's a Paraceratherium near our base. It's only a level 21, so we are going to try and take that out and uh, use the stuff that that gives us and hopefully get enough raw prime meat off it because we're too far away from the highlands now. We don't really have a means of getting there. That's why we're taming up this... Um, this Tyranodon, so we've got a means of get, taming up future carnivores with it. Where did that Paraceratherium go? Um, I don't know. So we're looking out for the Paraceratherium. Hopefully it gives us plenty of prime meat, because we need the prime meat. Oh, shit. There's a Kana there. Kana would do too. Our, our tribe mate's trying to lure it, as you can see. I don't know how good of a job he's doing, but we've got the Kana here. We should probably take out the Kano first before we try and take out the Paraceratherium. Because that Kano is going to be a pain in the ass, especially for our poor little Equus. We can't afford to lose our Equus. Oh god, the Paraceratherium is a smart bugger. Just goes to show the herbivores have the brain here. Alright. I don't think we're actually hitting the Kano. Stop moving for us, buddy. We missed completely. I really want to take out the Kano. We can craft one arrow. What the hell are we missing? Thatch, of course. We always need the smallest of things. I swear to God, we have been needing thatch so much lately. I'm honestly tempted to just tame up a freaking uh, Megaloceros to just help us with this problem. Because it's ridiculous. We're surrounded by trees and we can never have enough thatch. Alright, there we go. We've got some arrows crafting up now. Craft all those. I think that's another 30 uh, arrows crafting up, it just said. So we're going to get that going and uh, hopefully we can get enough prime meat off this dude to feed up our Tyranodon and tame it. Alrighty guys, and it has been a very, very, very long night. So the level 95 Pteranodon that we knocked out uh, woke up. We were just getting swarmed by Titan Meninas left, right, and center, and we just couldn't we just couldn't kill them. For the life of us, we just could not kill them. So we lost that Pteranodon, it's woken up, and we can't find it anywhere. That was pretty much ready to tame as well. We just needed to get the mud in for it. Um so we're spewing, trust me. So, uh, we then found a level 150 pretty much right outside the front of our base. So, I bowled it and tranked it, and it managed to fly away before I could finish knocking it out. And I managed to get a mid-air shot on it while it was flying away and knocked it out successfully. So, we've got that guy taming up, and honestly, we think he's ready to go. We're just uh, over here in the highlands now looking for some sheep to get so we can get some mud in and bring that back to the Pteranodon and pretty much make that a, well, close to a perfect tame. We don't have kibble for it, obviously, so it's not going to be a perfect tame, but close to. We just need to find the mud in first, and uh, we're actually out here as well at the same time looking for any uh, high-level equuses. We're just trying to get another high-level equus because we lost our other ones due to a gigantic lightning wyvern attack, which is really unfortunate, and we lost them all. So we're going to try and find a sheep to get some mudden. We need 28 mudden to get that bad boy tamed up, and uh, then we're good to go. All right, here we are. We found uh, some ovis. We've got a level 45 here, and what level are you? 60. Alright, we're going to kill the 45 because obviously it's a slower level so it'll be easier to kill. We're just going to bowler it and probably just pike it to death. It makes things a lot easier. I don't think that other one will aggro on us. Are you going to attack us, buddy? No, you've got these big ferocious horns but you won't attack us. Great. So we've got to be careful here because there's a lot of patrols flying over the area at the moment and we really don't want to get spotted and lose our last herbivore. Alright, let's get some mud in here. So we need about, I think I said 28 mud in. So we're going to try and get this mudden on, and then we're going to have to ferry it all the way back to the Redwoods, which is further than you think. Our base is further than you think from here. So we're hoping it doesn't spoil. We're hoping we get enough of it, and uh, we're just going to hope for the best here. So once we think we've got enough, I think we're pretty close to having enough mudden. Uh, I, I, like, I don't want to spoil it. Like, um, and All right, you know what? That'll do. Oh, well, uh, there you go. It's ran out anyway. All right, and we just go mudden and transfer it all. Wait, is that all the mud we got? What the heck? I thought we got more. Okay, what's the spoil time on that? 35 minutes. We've got plenty of time. We might kill this one just to make sure we have enough mud. I'd rather have more mud than not enough. So we're going to kill this one too. These guys aren't too easy to... Too hard to kill, so they're easy. All right, so we're going to kill these guys, and then we're going to head back and hopefully tame up the Pteranodon. Alrighty, guys. Here we are. We're coming up to the Pteranodon. There he is right there. I'm really, really hoping that we have enough mudden mud to tame it up. And I'm really hoping that it's hungry enough that we can just eat it. Uh, we're just going to tell our tribe mate here, don't worry about the narcs, because I think that's what he's done. 
because uh, I think that's going to lower its taming effectiveness, but he looks like he's already done it. Okay. Here we go. We're going to grab all the mud and out now, and we're going to dump it straight in the inventory. This would be plenty. And I'm really hoping it works. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Here we go. Bear with me. 46 mud and that should be plenty of mud and for this guy to tame straight up. Let's go mud and Transfer all that in. There we go. All right, let's see what he gets. All right, we're going to dump the cooked meat in there too, just in case. He's got pretty much full taming effectiveness. This guy should tame straight up. 98, 97. Beautiful. This is going to tame up to be a powerhouse of a Pteranodon. Look at that. Near perfect tame. 96%. I think we've lost two levels. I think it had 73 taming effectiveness, extra levels. And look at that. Beautiful. 150 Pteranodon tamed up. Level 220 it's tamed out, but that is awesome. All right, we're just going to grab the rest of the mud in here because, believe it or not, there may or may not be another Pteranodon that we knocked out earlier just over here. I don't know if it's still going to be knocked out. But if it is, then that's pretty exciting. Uh, we're going to take a quick look. It was over here somewhere. I don't know if it's still here. Probably not. Oh, there are some terror birds. Uh, that's a bad thing. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't look like the, the, the duty. Oh, God. Terror birds. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Well, guys, we've tamed up the Pteranodon. If you guys got a name for it, leave it down in the comments down below. But finally, it's been such a long day. I really hope you guys are appreciating these official playthroughs because it is a huge grind. Alrighty guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more.